YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I have an exciting double unboxing for you today. This almost was delayed because doing my normal housewifely duties, I've been doing laundry and dishes this morning, all that after taking the kids to school and I feel I am so tired. Just feel it in my bones. I just feel like going to sleep. And I might possibly try to do that after this video, but I kind of have a feeling that I won't because I am starting to feel my blood pump and my hands shake a little bit with the anticipation that I'm feeling about these two bags that I'm going to show you here shortly. They're both in priority boxes this size, so they're not great big. And I am going to just tear into them and see which one's which. I'm not even going to look. So I'm going to tell you one of them is Coach and the other one is Longchamp. So you can probably guess the style of the Longchamp, but I bet you cannot guess, at least not easily guess, which Coach bag it is because I have quite an assortment of Coach bags. You could probably pick between maybe four multiple choice ones like let's say is it another coach cassie is it another coach marley is it another pillow tabby is it a willis oh my when i start thinking about it i think that there are more choices than i was aware of <laughs> so anyway let me get my handy dandy tool and cut into the first box. Just a hint, on the coach one, it is one of those four that I mentioned. So if you haven't guessed one of those four, pick between one of those four and see if you're right. All right, whoever packaged this did an excellent job. Okay. This is the coach one, and I know because I see the pop of red there. This came from a friend of mine in one of the coach Facebook groups that I'm a part of. I saw people saying, I got this bag, I got this bag, and I was kind of envious because I totally missed it. It popped up on the outlet website, and I don't really look at the outlet website like I used to. I used to constantly look at the reserve section because I tend to prefer the retail bags over the outlet bags. But I just haven't been doing it lately. And I did get the Willis 18 in chalk from the outlet, but then it had a couple of little defects. And I also felt that it was just too close in color to my metallic gold Willis 18. But this color, I never saw it for sale. I saw rouge and I saw chalk. And if you haven't guessed already, this is in fact, this is in fact a Willis 18. It is new with tags. It is perfect. I mean, look at that. It doesn't have any of the issues with the quilting or the spot right here that look like the, whatever the final coat is they put on top of the color the sealant on my chalk one, it was like not shiny. It didn't have a sheen in the middle. And I don't know if you guys could see that on camera when I unboxed it, but I really wasn't happy with that particular aspect of that bag because it was right in the middle of the center. The middle and the center would be the same thing. It was right in the center of the bag. So I've got her almost unwrapped. I know I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not a huge red person, but when I saw this color red, which is, hold on a second, I can't read without my glasses. I know my glasses don't look bad on me, but I really, ugh, hold on. I really like to film without them on. It is red apple. Here is the skew with all the numbers on it in case in case somebody wants to go ahead and try to find one of these. I have found that if you want to find something at Coach, at the outlet in particular, your best bet is to find a sales associate that you can work with. I have one that I can call from an outlet that I go to or that I work with. I don't really have an outlet that I go to 
everything I get from the outlet is shipped to me. But I have a sales associate that I call when I want to find something and then he ships it to me, which is really nice. And by the way, I'm still unwrapping, if you didn't know that. I'm going to get her all unwrapped, and then I'm going to try her on for you. She is beautiful. Okay, so if you haven't seen my Willis 18 video where I compared it to the Pillow Tabby, I'll link that down below so you can go check it out. That is my metallic gold one. When I got the chalk, I just felt like it was so close in color to that metallic gold that I would wear the chalk one with the same things I would wear the gold one with. Now that is not the case with this beautiful red apple bag that I have here in front of you. Let me do an Autumn Beckman spin here. I need to figure out the music that they use so that I can put it on too. And when I say they, I mean Winnie BLV, Yoda Style, and Autumn Beckman. Well, they use this music when, when the spin is going on, which sounds awfully sexy. This bag is perfect. You can see. I love that the strap has these grommets on it. And I also like that it's adjustable. This is one bag that I really do not think that I'm going to use my other straps with because it looks so stinking good with the strap it comes with. Let me do a quick try on for you. See, this bag would look good with my current outfit of the day. Since I'm so neutral, I've got this jacket on from H&M and then a ribbed tank from Z Supply with my Can Can jeans. I'm telling you, it's like the postman could sense that I was thinking about taking a nap because I took off my jacket, I took off my pants, I put on my pajama pants, and then the dog sparked and the mailman drove by. So here I am back in my clothes because I didn't want to film in my pajamas. My oldest son would be mortified. Anyhow, on to box number two. Okay, let's see. Now this is the Longchamp bag. I found this one on Poshmark. I do not buy from Poshmark unless it's a seller who's been around for at least a year and had sales in that year. There are so many scammers out there on Poshmark. So when I recommend, when I recommend certain listings to you in my description box on Poshmark, I try my best to make sure that the seller's been around for a while because if they are a scammer, then they probably have only been around for a month or two. That's how it generally works. So if you find something on Poshmark and it seems too good to be true, make sure you check. Make sure you check anyway. Check every time you buy something on Poshmark because what these scammers are doing is they are mailing something to your address, or maybe it's not even to your address. It might be to another address within your zip code. And then when it shows delivered, there's nothing you can do. Well, I think there may be something you can do, but it's a pain in the butt to do it. And a lot of people are just ending up getting scammed out of their money, and you don't want that to happen. So when I am recommending certain bags to you to buy on Poshmark, I do try to check every one of those to make sure that the seller's been around for a little bit. And then I go into the love notes section and make sure that they have something positive said about them or at the very least, nothing extremely negative or not even extremely, nothing negative. I don't want anything negative about anything I'm buying from anybody on Poshmark. On Mercari and eBay, if somebody writes something negative, I look at it and I look at the other reviews and sometimes you just get a person who is not a happy person and they'll say something like oh i'm trying to think of a good example it didn't come fast enough you know and if, in in fact when you look the seller shipped it within a day or two and the reason it didn't come fast enough is because there are issues in our country with the postal service being slow right now well that's i mean that's nothing that the seller could do anything about that's not their fault, but yet they get a negative review for that. I don't like that. So I always look, if it, if it says they have like 99% positive feedback, I go look and I look up what the negative thing was. And if it's something like sold me a fake bag, that scares me. If, if it's something like sold me a dirty used bag, 
that scares me. If it says something like the shipping took too long or when it arrived, the box was damaged, you know, those things I don't worry about. Okay, onto my packaging with the Poshmark. She did wrap it in a layer of bubble wrap, so that's good. And this particular bag is very sturdy. So it probably doesn't need much more than that. If I was packing it myself, I would have put some of those air pillows on top so that it could not move at all in the box because that's how I ship things. I don't want them moving. I don't want bouncing. I don't want anything like that. Okay, the moment of truth. Do, do, do. Here we go. You already see a little bit of her. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! All right, I got a smeller. It smells like leather. Yep, it smells like leather. Let's see. The strap is included. This is a good sign. Still smells like leather inside. It's supposed to be new. It's supposed to be never used. It's got it's got this burgundy lining. Very pretty. It did not come with its little booklet, which I'm a little sad about, but that's okay. It's got this crossbody strap with no adjustments on it. And I'm just gonna try that on real quick and show you where these hit because I think they're all the same length. Okay, so I'm 5'8", about 145 pounds, and you can see, yes, it does fit sort of high, but it doesn't jut out super bad. It's not gonna run into things because it's a very petite bag. And I do feel like it rests pretty comfortably on my body. I think you could get away with it being maybe a tiny bit higher if you were a little bit taller than 5'8", but not much, and then as far as longer, yes, if you're shorter, then you shouldn't have any problem. That's why I tend to use the chain straps on these bags. I just feel like the chain straps offer such a nice accent to the bag anyway. This chain strap here, the brand is Model Worker, and I will link it below. But you see how beautifully that matches the Longchamp logo? It is 47 inches, if I remember correctly. And see how that drops that down? to about the perfect spot, I think. So if I'm gonna wear this bag, I really just like it with ease. The ones that I feature in my videos are flat, so they don't dig in when you're wearing them. I think I might like this one slightly better than the Amazon brand XIAZW. I can't pronounce that for the life of me. But the reason being is that I don't think it catches my hair quite as bad. The Amazon brand one, I love it. I've got all four colors. I still recommend it, but it does catch my hair just a little bit. Not bad, but this one's very nice as well. So I'm gonna link this one below today and I would recommend picking it up if you have any of these bags. And I can also link the Amazon one because if you do have any that have silver hardware or gold hardware in this brand. The, the regular gold matches this brand really well. Not light gold, not yellow gold. And then my favorite one to use with the silver hardware ones is the Samorga chain. If you're gonna place an order with Samorga, order the Samorga chain. It's a little bit more, but it's totally worth it. But if you're not, then try out the Amazon ones. So that is my unboxing for the day. I'm so excited. These were supposed to be the last two I was getting, but I have something special in the works, so I may end up getting two more before I retire from buying bags for a while. I think I'm gonna retire from buying bags for a while. That's my plan. I don't think I can get away with much more than what I have planned in the next day or two. But for now, these are the unboxings of the day. I'm super happy. I'm gonna go accept this one on Poshmark. I'm gonna let my friend from Facebook know I love this one and I hope all of you have a fantastic day. If you like videos like these and you want to keep seeing them, please give me a huge thumbs up. And also it helps me out so much if you subscribe to my channel. And it also helps if you just drop a comment. So I would love to talk with you. I answer all of my comments. So take care and have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.